90 of the nation's premier high school football players have been selected by ESPN Recruiting to participate in the 2012 Under Armour All-American Game. Former selections include 2011 NFL draft picks Julio Jones of the Atlanta Falcons, A.J. Green of the Cincinnati Bengals, Daquan Bowers of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and Brandon Harris of the Houston Texans. There are also current college stars like Oklahoma's Landry Jones, USC's Matt Barkley, Alabama's Trent Richardson, Auburn's Michael Dyer, and South Carolina's Jadavian Clowney, who have also participated in this Under Armour All-American game. Now, for the first time in this game's five-year history, we're proud to announce that each Under All-American is going to be presented with an honorary game jersey in front of their fellow teammates, students, faculty, family members, and the local media. Thanks to the support of our presenting sponsor, American Family Insurance, the selection tour for the Under Armour All-American Game is able to visit more than 80 high schools nationwide this fall. American Family Insurance is also committed to supporting and protecting the dreams of their customers and families. Whether you're an athlete, band member, or cheerleader, your future is bright and your dreams are worth protecting. That's why American Family is proud to support you in achieving your dreams and protecting teens from senseless car accidents through our proven Teen Safe Driver program. To learn more about this program and take the pledge, please visit TeenSafeDriverPledge.com. Right, now today, we're going to be presenting North Marion High School Colts, Sean and Latro. Latroy? Latroy? All right. Latroy. Sorry, guys. Latroy. <laughs> with their honorary game jerseys commemorating their selection to the 2012 Under Armour All-American Game. They're both joined by their families up here, and head football coaches here in the audience, Craig Damon. In spirit of the American family's commitment to high school athletics, this commemorative All Under Armour All-American jersey is a symbol of your hard work and determination in the classroom, the community, and most importantly on the football field. On behalf of American Family Insurance, I would like to congratulate you both on your selection to the 2012 Under Armour All-American Game, and we look forward to seeing you again in Florida. You can come on up here. Put this on. Man. Yeah, you go, you go ahead. Throw it on. Yeah, throw it on. Yeah, listen, man. Hold those up. Get a couple shots with the camera. Throw them on, and you guys can oh, say okay. whatever you want. Uh, I don't know. She don't care. She don't care. She everybody you know my football teammates my family my brother coach my girlfriend my auntie all my students friends uh, reporters coaches uh, couldn't do it without y'all and um god bless <laughs> I just want to thank all my coaches you know uh, from day one y'all were pushing me hard you know to get here this day I told y'all I want to be here and y'all made it come true. Thank to my family, you know, taking me to practice and things like that. And uh, all the support everybody give me, to all my teammates and like that. And uh, God bless. All right, Gator Country TV, we're here at the Under Armour All-American Game Ceremony for Latroy Pittman at, uh, Citra at North Marion High School in Citra, Florida. Latroy, uh, Big day for you today. Just talk about the feelings being honored as Under Armour All-American. It's just uh, just a blessing, you know, from uh, from day one. Just working hard. Came in as a freshman. Um, never played JV or varsity. Just came in and uh, started working hard. All my, uh, you know, coaches pushing me hard. Going to camps every every summer, and uh, just going out improving, being one of the best of the best. Tell me how. Tell me how it feels to be honored, not only for yourself, but alongside your teammate, tight end Sean Price. He's an Under Armour All-American as well. How does it feel? I know you guys are real tight to be honored together. 
Uh, it's just it's just crazy, you know. Like I said, uh, he st as as me, he never played uh, freshman or JV, so we both came in on varsity and played. And uh, just as young guys getting in and uh, making things happen. Uh, now you guys took control of the district last Friday night with a big win over Lachua Santa Fe. Uh, tell me how the season's going for you so far, and you know in terms of how you're doing, and what kind of you know if you've kind of started to reach your individual goals that you set at the beginning of the year. Uh, overall, the team, I feel like, uh, you know, we had some rough patches, um, losing the rival Vanguard once again, you know, the beast last year in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of got embarrassed when we went down the bowls, kind of had left bad taste in our mouth. Uh, you know, went to Chris River, kind of then, you know, came out a little sluggish, you know, one, one kind of close to close game. But I feel like uh, second home game of the season, we came back out and uh, showed what North American football is about and uh, really played to our potential. Now, you guys uh, have always been a, a team that usually is in the thick of it until the end, but you still haven't made that trip to Orlando yet, still haven't made it to the state finals. I know that's been a big goal for you guys heading into the season throughout the year. Uh, how close do you think you guys are to putting it all together to make that run at uh, finishing the season in Orlando? Well, right now I feel like uh, we're, getting, we're getting started, uh, really getting going right now. You know, I think it's like week eight right now. So uh, we're getting ready to get, to get in our playoff run, and I feel like uh, everything's getting coming together as it should. Now, tell me about you know the Florida commitment. I know you've been to a few games this year. Uh, tell me about your feelings about the Gators, what you've seen so far out of the team this year, what they've done on offense. I mean, you know, just new thank you for what it is, new coaching staff, uh, kind of uh, kind of a couple new guys. You know, it started a lot of freshmen, I say, and uh, just trying to find a way. You know, um, just new coaching staff trying to find a way. I feel like uh, my commitment is 100 percent. Can't wait to get up and help the team my best way I can. I'm a mid-year guy, so I think I had like a month. And uh, like 16 days left of school left, so um, just can't wait to get up, play the Army game, and uh, get up the floor, get up the UF. So still on pace to enroll early. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you've been staying in touch with Aubrey Hill over the past yeah. uh, few months. Yeah, he ta actually talked to me like uh, I, I want to say uh, Wednesday or Tuesday. So we just talked about uh, him putting me in the office, thing like that. Uh, am I still committed? You know, how am I thinking about the teams and feeling like that? Just saying, uh, you need receivers real bad, which I can see. So I just can't wait to get, get up there. Did you say anything about the ceremony today? No, he didn't. I didn't even know about it. It was you know, a total surprise. <laughs> so me and Sean didn't know anything about it. So this is, this is like a surprise, real, real surprise. Uh, now, actually, I've heard you've kind of been getting it done on the defensive side of ball yeah. this year. Four yeah. interceptions, knock a yeah. couple guys out of the game so far. <laughs> Tell me about uh, your play at safety. Uh, that safety is just um, basically just me being an athlete. My coaches actually put me in position to make plays. Uh, I guess you could say freelancer, if you want to say. Um, blitz when I want to blitz, basically. I look at the sideline. He gives me the signal. I'm just basically doing what I want to do, just running the defense and uh, just being that leader that I'm supposed to be. Uh, Florida right now with 16 commitments. Tell me about, have you been doing any recruiting of your own lately? Yeah, still trying to get enough in Aguilar along the board okay. with the team and uh, see what Tracy's doing, but uh, I'm not sh too sure about Tracy, but I believe Nelson might pull the trigger anytime soon. All right, and you feel like this class is really uh, coming together? Yeah, I, I believe it is. You know, we got a couple of high-rated guys and um, just a bunch of playmakers on the, playmakers on the um, commit list, and I feel like if we come in this class, we could uh, probably turn the program around. I know you've uh, been in touch with a lot of guys since over the summer, uh, going to camp with them at the opening. Yeah. Just tell me about how those relationships have continued to develop. Uh, man, the opening was crazy. One of the best experiences I ever had in my life. You know, just meeting uh, some of the top top players, you know, from everywhere. You know, and uh, just competing against those guys and making friendships. You know, uh, Facebooking guys now, tweeting things like that. So yeah, I mean, just ba basically just uh, come out and competing. But at the end of the day, uh, we, we're all football players and we're all friends. So I mean, we can socialize and talk about things. All right. Well, that's it for Gator Country. TV. Appreciate your time, Latroy. Congratulations again, man.